The Parentoville uh, Freedom Trial is a very interesting study done in Asia. In this study, they wanted to look at parampamil as monotherapy in two doses, four milligrams per day, and then also eight milligrams per day. Now, what's important to know, this was a phase three study. It had a titration, or sorry, it had a pretreatment of baseline, followed by a titration and then a maintenance phase. During the maintenance phase, they looked at anybody who had uh, seizures. If they did, they were able to have their dose titrated up to the eight milligrams per day. But they were able to actually look at safety and efficacy in both ranges. So after the additional 30 week of treatment and also during the entire maintenance phases, they did see significant in, uh, patients with seizure freedom rates. The efficacy, or at least this freedom for seizures in patients on eight milligrams per day of parampamil was much higher than even the four milligrams, and again, covered around 70 plus percent. The other important findings from this study was that this medication was well tolerated. It had some adverse events, which were again, very commonly seen in other anti-seizure medication trials, specifically being tired, uh, was another very common one. But more importantly, they do not report on significant behavioral changes, which has been seen and published in other studies looking at parampamil. So the takeaways from this study is that either four or eight milligrams of parampamil may be a good option as far as monotherapy for patients with partial onset seizures with secondary generalization or not. The other important, I think, aspects of this abstract are to point out that they, the median seizure reductions were not reported. And those are the normal endpoints that we usually report as it relates to studies in the United States. Nor did the authors comment on the um, responder rate, which is the percent of patients who had at least a 50% or more reduction of their seizures. One can conclude that would be very high given the fact that 64% of patients on four milligrams per day had no seizures during the maintenance phase of the study. And 75.3% of patients on eight milligrams had no seizures during the duration of the study. That does suggest there's a significant seizure freedom rate as it relates to both those doses in the patients that were given this medication as monotherapy. It's very important to note because those are very high seizure freedom rates, which makes this medication a potential option for this population of patients with partial onset seizures.